Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. I hand over to the defense team for Mr. Nunchia to continue his line of questioning. You may proceed. Refer to document E3 slash 64, your written record of interview with the OCIJ. The question asked you at that time was who Jaim and Dun were, and you said you did not know for sure. You said that Jaim could have been members of the assembly and Dun could have been the chairman of any one offices with Mr. Kiel Sampon or Mr. Nguyen Chia, or he was. He could have been a chairman of the North Zone Committee. And you used the word could have been. Vous avez employé uh, le terme peut-être. It implies uh, that uh, you were not sure it was your assumptions sure. that that was the case. Is that uh, a fair summary of uh, that uh, statement? It was your uh, assumptions uh, of the position they held. De votre part quant à leur fonction. But, Kiam Ban Chalai Yam Lich Noh Men. Response. Yes, at that time I used the word uh, they could have been, and I also used uh, the word uh, perhaps as well because I was not sure. But when I uh, came to uh, testify before this chamber, I learned uh, that the word. Uh, that en venant dans le prétoire, uh, the, the déposé, testimony that I was not clear, was not sure, uh, was not uh, used uh, by the court. So I would like to uh, dit que ce request dont the court je to pas remove uh, the pas word par la uh, and that I used the word perhaps it could have been or so. I si would like them to be removed uh, the word uh, according to my uh, assumption or so. I would like to remove all la the paragraph de and statements which I uh, only make uh, inference or also en question, uh, to il ne s'agit que de suppositions de ma part. Uh, Council, thank you very much for clarifying this. And this is the Défense. second time Merci that you have uh, mentioned uh, about this issue. La now, I would fois like to que vous stay on this uh, particular written record of interview. At that time, the OCIJ asked uh, you uh, what Nguyen Chia had to do with this uh, telegram, and then you told uh, them that uh, that telegram was meant Et to be sent solely to Pol Pot, but then the uh, telegram unit Pot, learned uh, that this telegram was supposed to be sent to uh, people who were in charge of addressing problems with the public and people, and Nunchia was responsible for that at that time. And according to your uh, statement, you said the order was, or the telegram was to be sent uh, to the person who was in charge of the people, and Nunchia was in charge of the people. Can you enlighten the court on this? Because Nguyen Chia at that time was the uh, chairman of the People's uh, Assembly. And why was Nguyen Chia a responsible person for uh, the people? Uh, because he was merely the president or chairman of the uh, People's Assembly back then. Des en rapport avec le peuple, parce qu'à l'époque, il était seulement président de l'Assemblée des représentants du peuple. Response. 
frankly, I did not uh, know the detail uh, of the management handled by Pond. But at Je that time, the investigator of the OCIJ asked me to uh, analyze the situation and explain uh, what happened. So at that time, I uh, explained that it could have been this or it could have been that. So uh, uh, on this particular, at this particular juncture, I also uh, said uh, again that uh, it was not under my responsibility, répète, and neither was it uh, within the uh, assigned task I had to handle. And in that particular message, there was an instruction uh, clearly there that it was to be sent to Brother Paul. But when we screened through the uh, content of the message, we learned that it was not meant for Brother Paul alone, but there the potential recipient could be many. That's, that's what I told the Paul, investigator of the OCIJ then. So that's why uh, the a telegram unit produced a unité des annotations that uh, it was to be sent to uh, Brandon Moon. Quoi, le but actually, être uh, au they Moon. came uh, to the uh, decision Mais that this en fait, telegram had to be sent uh, to uh, Brandon Moon. And at that time, that was my explanation. Décidé, nous avons décidé que le message devait être envoyé au frère Noon. That's all I can clarify on this particular point. Council, now I am coming to my last question for, for you. Yesterday, the lawyer for the civil parties asked you that if anyone committed any wrongdoing or moral uh, misconduct in uh, Au sujet their daily de life, uh, what happened to them. And you, en demandant ce qui in response to this question before the OCIJ, acte. said uh, that Or if anyone committed any immoral conduct, that matter was referred to immoral. Mr. Nguyen My blunt questions for you, why should it eh bien, be under the responsibility of Nguyen Chia? Because Nguyen Chia was the chairman of Pourquoi the People's Assembly. He had nothing to do with Dès these kinds of things. Que Nguyen Chia était président de l'Assemblée des représentants du peuple, il n'avait rien à voir avec cela. I a witness. I would like you to look at this statement again. If I uh, mention anywhere in my statement that it could have been, so it was my assumption. Si dit, une the president de interrupts. Uh, president. president, prosecutor, you may proceed. La parole est à l'accusation. Your Honour, two points of order. Um, first of all, counsel is uh, referring to the portions inaudible. of the statement and la references fait to référence exhibits. À une partie uh, de la he should provide the, the correct exact ERNs and document numbers so we can all follow. Uh, Secondly, uh, uh, I didn't suivre. object the first time, but I, I will object fois, now. Pas uh, mais my learned friend, friend is misrepresenting his client's positions during the period. Uh, I believe his client has himself accepted uh, that he held uh, du the position of Deputy Secretary of the CPK to be put into the witness a, 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 a proposition that is simply not true is improper, and it leads to um, a confusion and potentially uh, incorrect evidence being used. So I would just say on that second point, if my, if my friend wishes to, uh, to put to the witness his client's positions, then he should state them in full and not misrepresent that, the, that Nguyen Chia was merely the president of the si representative assembly, because that is not the case présenter la position de son client tel que celui-ci l'a exprimé, il doit le faire intégralement et ne pas dire que son client était seulement Council président Sondern. de l'Assemblée des représentants I du peuple. Je voudrais répondre à mes collègues colleagues de la prosecution. J'ai dit le numéro de document number. And there was no objection J'ai mentionné la cote du document, il n'y a pas eu d'objection. Uh, document number and when I started my question concerning this document. 
And in my first and second question, I did mention that I referred question. to the same document. Par la suite, j'ai dit que j'avais fait référence au même document. The differences were the questions. Mais j'ai posé des questions différentes. And the witness did enlighten us on the question I asked, but. The very last question I asked, the witness simply wanted to double check whether or not he had used the word could have been or perhaps also that he was not sure uh, about uh, that uh, situation. Uh, that was all actually and there is nothing else and, and that is all for me as well. President. International Council for Mr. Nguyen-Chir, do you have any questions to put the, to the witness? If so, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Merci, bonjour. I, I do have some questions. J'ai des questions à poser. Mr. Witness, good afternoon. Monsieur le témoin, bon après-midi. I, along with Major Sonarun, the Maître gentleman who just asked you questions, qui vient nous uh, I represent Nunchia. Je représente Nunchia. I have some some further questions I'd like to put to you. D'autres questions à vous poser. And before I do that, just let me begin. Avant cela, uh, let me begin by thanking you. I'd like to thank you not only for coming here to answer all of these questions. I know it's, questions. it's been a long time. It's Je been a hard task. But also, I'd like to thank you for telling us, as, as you've done so many times since you've been here, over and over, in fact, if and when you don't know something, you don't know the answer to a particular question, and just let me say that we're, we're grateful dit. for that kind of candor. Nous now, if I could just start with something which hopefully sincérité. will save me some time and, and allow me to finish today, so I don't have to continue into tomorrow. Je vais essayer I'd just like to confirm one or two things with you. And I'm doing this only so that I can properly points, understand your evidence and so that it's very clear for me on the record. So first of all, you've told us, you've told us that although there was a system in place at the base level and in, in particular at the zones, I think you said, to confirm the receipt of telegrams once they've been sent out la réception un telegram, une fois from un telegram K18, I believe. K18, you yourself told us that you could not confirm whether those telegrams were actually, that, that were actually sent or were always received. I just want to make sure I have that correct, that you yourself were not in a position to confirm whether all the telegrams that were sent out were received. Have I, have I got you right? Yes, that is correct. I was not in that position because it was beyond my ability that I had to follow up with that. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. And, and something else which I believe you told us was beyond your ability, and I'm, I'm asking now so that I can confirm it. And this is something you said this morning in response to a question by my colleague on my right, Mr. Mr. Kong Sam On for the Kyu Sam Pan team, I believe, I believe what you told him was that in actual fact, you didn't know whether any of the telegrams that you dealt with reached their intended recipients. You didn't know that for a fact. You can't confirm that. Did, did I get you right on that point? You didn't know whether telegrams actually reached their intended recipients in particular those people destinataire whose names were on the telegrams. En particulier, les destinataires dont le nom figurait sur le telegram. Is that correct? Yes, exact. But yes, that is correct. Réponse. I was not exact. sure whether or not those telegrams Je ne reached avec all of them. Si ces télégrammes allaient leur Thank parvenir you. À tous. And just one last question on this point, question. just to be crystal clear, as, as my friend across the stage would say. Pour is it fair to say that the outer limit of your field of knowledge, that is, the things that you yourself would personally know about, with respect to those telegrams you told us about that were placed in envelopes, envelopes that were labeled K1, is it fair to say that the outer limit of your knowledge as to the fate of those telegrams was that guard booth or that box that you described in front of K1? On several occasions, is is that correct? Vous ne saviez pas ce qui leur arrivait 
après les avoir déposés dans cette boîte devant K1. Est-ce exact Réponse. In the envelopes placed at the uh, gate of uh, K1, but all non, the messages had to go through this uh, gate where there was a, porte, um, a guarding post par ce to où receive the incoming uh, letters also. So we arrivaient. had to go through that, so we did Nous not send uh, it in the là. envelopes uh, through the uh, envelope post uh, or so, but uh, it was actually sent to uh, K1 and there was people who were standing K1. Uh, guarding the premise Il y avait des gens to qui convey les lieux. this letter to Et others. Qui remettaient les lettres so just so I understand droit. you clearly, Question. those envelopes sûr de bien that you described which were labeled K1 avec la mention K1 étaient déposés à l'extérieur de K1 et ensuite quelqu'un les prenait. Is that correct? N'est-ce pas? Yes, uh, there were people guarding 24 hours around the clock. Il y des sentinelles qui montaient la garde 24 heures sur 24. Post. Dans une guérite. Right in front of the main building. Juste devant le bâtiment principal. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And so, so what actually happened to those telegrams Donc, beyond that box? That was, as I believe you've told us. Solely Pong's domain, Plus tard, and not your, not your own business. Seulement de Pong. Do I have you correct? D'après ce que vous avez dit, cela ne vous regardez pas, n'est-ce pas? But Kromnirsa. Uh, Réponse. The guards at. Uh, K1 would convey the letters uh, to Pon and Pon was the one who transmitted the letter Pon and continued to circulate this letter. Thank you, Mr. Witness. That, I believe, will save, uh, save me a great deal of time. Uh, let me move on to one particular uh, general item and then we'll eventually return to some. Et puis, additional specific matters. Plus and my colleague, Major Sanarun, Maître asked you Arun some questions, or asked you a question already, une question about those assumptions you referred to, and, and you gave us a very clear answer on how you thought parlé, the Chamber should deal with those assumptions that, that you made uh, to the OCIJ investigators. I'd like to ask you another question, a, a different question, about Something you said about your time dit, with those OCIJ investigators, and I think it's BCG, probably easier if I just quote le plus from the, the draft transcript, so I don't mistake or mischaracterize what you've said. Pour ne pas déformer vos propos. And this was this was from yesterday's evidence. C'était l'audience d'hier. And I believe this is something that you said to one of the civil party lawyers. Je pense que vous répondiez à une question. And I'm quoting now from the draft transcript that's. That's Je Tuesday, 4th of September, page 53, line 7. And you said, at the time, I did not know when these people dit, disappeared or were, or were removed or were removed. You said, disparu, the investigators tried to ask me this question time la question and again. À maintes I already stated very early that I did not know from the beginning. Début, First, he asked me to explain about the removal of people, and I started to explain on this. But then more and more expliquer. questions were ensuite, bombarded on me on Pong and Tae. And the statement, and indeed the statement, could not be used as the evidence because, as I said, ne peut I said, I didn't know, preuve, and I do bien not know what happened pas, pas, to the removal of people at the base. I do not know how this worked. Now, what I'm interested in is uh, is a phrase that you used in that bit of testimony, you mentioned that you were bombarded vous avez dit somehow que vous aviez by the investigators. What, what did you mean by that? Did, did you mean to say that at times during 
the time you spent with the investigators when you didn't know something, when you made it clear that you didn't know something, that those investigators continued to press you with questions because they weren't satisfied with your answer, or did you mean something else? Maybe you could explain to us what you meant by the bombardment passage. And, and Mr. Witness, please don't answer it, that the, uh, my colleague is on his feet across the stage. Mon confrère de la partie adverse s'est levé. Your Honours. Le Président, witness, please hold on. Témoin, veuillez attendre. Um, and Mr. Prosecutor, you la may proceed. La parole est à Your Honours, I'm, I'm reluctant to uh, interrupt my, my learned friend's examination. C'est contre cœur que j'interromps mon confrère. Mais notre objection um, se fonde sur le manque de pertinence. First hand evidence Nous avons entendu les éléments de preuve de première main donnés par le témoin. Il a expliqué quelles étaient les limites de ses connaissances. Il a fait des éclaircissements. Uh, Nous avons entendu. Nous l'avons aussi entendu confirmer de nombreux parties de ses déclarations. Il a fait des éclaircissements. Le cas échéant, quand c'était nécessaire. We would submit Selon that nous, questions that go to the des questions techniques adopted by the investigators in this instance are simply irrelevant. Uh, if my learned friend wishes pertinence. to uh, test the witness's si knowledge by reference to the prior statement, ask what he meant in that statement, uh, and how that differs from what he says today, that's entirely appropriate. But questions about techniques and questions asked in questions an OCRJ interview uh, are irrelevant. We have the witness here, and we can deal with the facts with the witness. And here, we can deal with the facts with the witness. If I may just briefly respond, La obviously I take a completely different position. position. It has long been our position that those very techniques that the investigators used during the investigation, the propriety of those techniques, the substance of those techniques, the style of those, all those things, as we've said time and again, are relevant, relevant to the question of the quality of the evidence that is now put before your chamber in terms of these witness statements, many of which, many of which, based on your rulings, we are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. We are going to be working on the basis of the judge's decision. Are clearly relevant. Appelé, ils ne pourront pas être contre-interrogés. Et donc, ces techniques sont pertinentes. Car elles sont liées à la qualité de ces PV. Le témoin nous parle d'un bombardement de questions. On peut lui demander ce qu'il entend par là. Peut-être que c'est parfaitement inoffensif, mais c'est à lui de le dire. Le Président, je vous en prie, Maître Carnavas. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. I wish to support the the response provided by Counsel for Nunchia, and wish to add the following. The general these events happened nearly 40 years ago. These events remonte à près de 40 ans. How the investigation was conducted in taking the summary, what was done in that process. To assist the gentleman in remembering events, showing him documents that may have refreshed or created memory, these sorts of techniques are the sort of areas that we are entitled to explore because it goes to the credibility of the witness's actual memory and his understanding of the events at the time. When they occurred, with the knowledge that he had at that time, and not the knowledge that he may have been provided by the investigators, this is a line of questioning that was pursued in the past. Obviously, the prosecution would like to have any inappropriate conduct related to investigations not be explored for the for all the obvious reasons. We think this is an absolute necessary. Process is done before all the other tribunals. We're using international standards. There is no reason why we should not be able to use these same standards in this courtroom here. Thank you. Merci. President, the defense counsel, you may proceed. 
Très brièvement, donc, je voudrais également soutenir briefly, la position qui vient d'être énoncée par mes deux confrères. Euh, votre procès est la preuve euh, qu'il est essentiel d'avoir des règles lorsque l'on entend une personne, euh, des règles euh, d'honnêteté et de euh, technicité du questionnement. Nous avons vu tout à l'heure, pour ce qui concerne cette personne, et nous l'avons déjà vu par le passé, euh, qu'en plus de cela, il semble, si l'on en croit euh, les procès-verbaux un procès-verbal d'audition, que les enquêteurs aient euh, rencontré ce monsieur avant même euh, le 18 février et qu'il n'y ait eu ni enregistrement, euh, ni procès-verbal de cette rencontre, alors même que les faits étaient... Euh, Recording of évoqué the interview. avec le témoin. Donc je crois que c'est véritablement be capital pour la bonne tenue de ce procès et je soutiens importance. la demande de mon confrère. Do you stand on your feet on the same matter or do you have an additional matter to raise, counsel? Do you need to continue to put questions to the witness or you need just to take the floor to reply to one another? I, I was just about to explain that. What I was about to say was, with your leave, I would like to add one very brief additional point, and I, and I promise not to make a habit of this, but I think something that needs to be said is this sense that we're dealing with uh, a cured investigation, that the closing order cured the faults, any faults, there may have been in the investigation. We've been here for almost a year now, and I think we can all point to numerous, numerous occasions of what I will call irregularities, where statements don't match, we get audio recordings that are off by, by several, several hours. I think we've, we've passed the point of rebutting any presumption of regularity that attaches to the judicial investigation, and I think that's a point that needs to be made. These are serious issues. We can't test all this evidence. We don't have time. As, 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 this was one of the things that, that was the main, one of the main topics at the trial management meeting. We're, we're running out of time. We don't have time to test this evidence. Even today, the, the, the point I raised this morning, we get a transcript of a witness statement who's been on the stand for three days after he's been on the stand for three days. So these things are happening after the fact on a very ad hoc basis. And I just want to make it clear that I don't think this chamber should should attach any presumption of regularity to the OCIJ's investigation. And I, and I apologize for not saying that the first time. As I said, I won't make a habit of, of adding comments at the end. A été faite de manière régulière et je tiens à dire également que je ne compte pas euh, intervenir à chaque fois pour ajouter President, des commentaires. President, first, let me remind you that the chamber has observed the frequency Tout of these objections and replied. La chambre a déjà entendu if cette objection I'm not mistaken, soulevé, you should refer répondu. to the declaration by the chamber to the witness of his right and obligation that he must tell the truth, that he has heard, have learned, have known, and have experienced or observed regarding the events related to the questions put to him by the chamber or any of the parties. That is the duty of the chamber to inform the witness. And if there is, even if there is no objection, the chamber already informed the chamber, the witness that they cannot make a presumption or a conclusion, as the witness is not an expert who can make a conclusive statement based on the expertise. You also said it is important, and of course the chamber already repeated that point and stretched it once again that counsel should put your request in a writing to represent all those aspects so that the chamber would have the ground to decide.
on your submission regarding a particular matter afin de permettre à la and that we can that. de se prononcer yes, you understand. There sur are millions of pages of document in the case file Il it is very difficult to categorize all the documents Il est into its specific categories even up to today there are still new issues arising out of the document issues and we are facing the same issue again today and you said that it is a very serious matter de ces documents et nous voilà que nous en parlons aujourd'hui encore. Et lorsque vous savez que c'est une question très sérieuse, vous devez mettre votre soumission et rule on it. Donc, dans ce cas-là, veuillez soumettre la demande par écrit afin de permettre Thank à la Chambre de vous faire la demande. Merci pour cette clarification, M. le Président. Am I to understand that I should be putting replies to objections in writing? Is that what you've just told me? I asked a question. The prosecution objected on the grounds of relevance. I stood up to respond or to reply to tell the chamber why I thought it was relevant. We will rule on this objection now. We will not put this witness in a waiting while we are, dis Nous while we are cette debating this issue, but you took the débat. opportunity to rest that it's a very serious issue and it's been going on for a long time. That is the point that I'd like to stress. And if you think it is of great importance and that it happens regularly, then you should put it in as a submission in writing, setting your grounds for it. Qui, euh, pose fréquemment problème, alors, oui, effectivement, vous devez Thank you again for that clarification. Uh, you... votre oh, sorry. Par sorry. La défense. Merci de cette précision.
President, in order to rule the on the matter at hand, I'd like to give the floor to Judge Lavergne to la parole sera cédée au juge respond Lavergne to this matter. Qui va répondre concernant cette As question for soulevée. the defense counsel who puts question to this witness, please try to slow down so that we will have an accurate record of the question as well as the, an accurate interpretation. Judge Lavergne, que you may proceed. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. La Chambre est d'abord rappeler qu'elle est saisie d'un certain nombre de requêtes qui, dès à présent, mettent en cause la régularité d'un certain nombre de méthodes d'interrogatoire. Et elle répondra bien évidemment à ces demandes écrites. Pour autant, il nous semble important que les questions qui sont posées à l'audience le soient posées d'une façon ouverte, sans contenir en elles-mêmes des allégations euh, selon lesquelles l'instruction les, euh, aurait été euh, diligentée d'une façon malhonnête, voire frauduleuse. Je pense que à ce stade, ce genre d'allégation est inapproprié. Donc, vous êtes invité à poser des questions qui ne contiennent pas so you are de telles euh, suggestions to et à faire des, et à poser des questions qui sont des questions such insinuations. In other words, your questions should be open. Voilà, je pense que c'est le ce qui était le plus important. I think that is the most important point that we wanted to make. Thank you for that clarification, Judge Lauren. I'd just like to add for the record, and I will speak very slowly. In my submission, I made a very measured submission, and I suggested that the answer from the witness could be an innocuous one. So I do take exception with the fact that I have impugned anyone's integrity ad hominem. I, I have not done that. I haven't named anyone by name. I haven't said this investigator is a bad person, the one who took that statement. I haven't said anything of the kind. So I do take exception to that ruling, just for the record. Just for the record. But I do note I do note what you've said. And may I continue? With, uh, may the witness answer this question? or? Has the objection been ruled on? That's what I wanted to say concerning this response. Can I pose my question? You may continue putting questions to the witness. The president, you can continue your question to the witness. Thank you. Mr. Witness, coming back to to what I said previously. I have the same question for you. What did you mean? What did you mean? when you said that you felt you were bombarded by the OCIJ or the investigators. Could you please tell us what you meant by that? And please correct me if, that's, if I'm misquoting you in any way, if that's not what you've said. The situation was that Pong, regarding Pong and Te, in my statement, I stated that I didn't know where they went, and they still insisted on asking who disappeared first. And it was very difficult for me to respond. That was the situation. Because I said I already did not know, but they still insisted on asking me further questions that who was removed first. That was the situation, I repeat. Thank you, Mr. Witness. So just so I have that clear, after you La gave what you merci. considered to be a clear answer to the OCIJ investigators, not calling for any any further questioning on that point, they continued to question you and ask you questions that suggested that you may or should know those things. Et à vous poser des questions. Have I got you right? Tentant à suggérer que vous pourriez ou que vous devriez savoir la réponse. Oh. Well, uh,
President, witness, le Président, wait. Judge Lavange, you may proceed. Maître Yanouzi, je pense que soit Is on a un problème Yanuzi? de communication, soit vous ne cherchez Either pas à comprendre ce qu'on vous dit. Problem, or you Mais do on not, vous dit que dans les questions uh, que vous devez poser, vous devez poser des questions ouvertes et non des questions où vous suggérez que les choses se sont you passées de façon déloyale. Je crois que ça me paraît relativement that that simple. The questions were unfair. Vous de suggérer exactement aux témoins que la that façon dont il a été interrogé était une façon you qui était euh, malhonnête. Suggesting to the witness that the manner in which he was questioned um, was tantamount to dishonesty. Your Honor, the witness, it was the witness's answer that suggested Maître that, Yannouzi. and I was following Monsieur up juge, on the answer. That's all I was doing. That's what the witness said. Maître Yannouzi, je, je ne pense que vous n'êtes pas ici Mr. pour commenter Yannouzi, ce que, ce que la Chambre répond to à une objection, et on vous êtes là pour appliquer les, les conseils qui vous sont indiqués. On objections. You are here to follow the instructions meted out to you by the chamber. Well, in that case, just so I clearly understand the instruction that was just meted out, I am not permitted to ask, or excuse me, I must ask an open question even when the answer from the witness is highly suggestive. Is that the ruling? Just so I have it clear, I, I don't want to offend you any, anymore. Je crois qu'il ne faudrait peut-être pas surinterpréter la façon dont le témoin répond. Il faut aussi avoir une certaine conduite à l'audience qui soit à peu près loyale. Thank you, Judge Levin. I'll move on to my next Mr. question Merci, on the same topic. Mr. Witness, one of the first things you did, one of the first things you did in this courtroom when you appeared on Wednesday of last week, I believe it was, you confirmed in response to a question from the President the content in its entirety of both of your statements to the OCIJ investigators. Do you recall that? de vos auditions par le bureau des co-juges d'instruction. Est-ce que vous vous rappelez de l'avoir fait? I do not understand your question. Je ne comprends pas votre Can you question. Pourriez-vous la reformuler? Certainly. As I recall, Question. one of the first, uh, well, let me take it step by step. Do you remember your first day of testimony before the chamber? That was last Wednesday. That is Wednesday of last week. I'm sorry, Mr. Witness, I, I can rephrase it again if Monsieur you're still unclear. Souhaitez-vous que je reformule ma question? Uh, réponse. I am unsure because there were a lot of questions je ne sais pas très bien when I was first appeared on Wednesday. What question are you referring to? I responded to various questions, but I cannot uh, recollect all of those questions and responses. Indeed, Mr. Witness, you, you are correct, and it's it's late in the day, and I, I apologize for my lack of clarity. The very first individual who put questions to you was the President of the Chamber. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. Oui, je m'en souviens. Thank you. 
And do you remember, as I recall, and tell me if I'm wrong, one of the questions he asked you was whether or not you had reviewed your, the two statements you gave to the OCIJ investigators pursuant to the normal policy in this court whereby witnesses are given their statements to review in advance of testimony. Yes, the president Réponse. asked me that question. Oui, le président m'a bien posé cette question. And of course, I reviewed the statements. Et j'avais bien sûr relu les procès verbaux. And the statements were consistent. Qui Thank you. And then I believe, bien. as a follow-up question, question, he Merci. asked you if you if you Je confirmed ensuite, the contents of those statements in their entirety. Si vous if you stood by what you had said du completely in those statements. And as I recall, you said yes. Si but vous vous please correct me if I'm wrong. À vos déclarations dans ces documents, Je me souviens que votre réponse a été oui. Corrigez-moi si je me suis trompé. Yes. Réponse. That is correct. Oui, Thank exact. you, Mr. Witness. Now, Une again, at, at several points Merci. over the course of your testimony, over, over, the, over these last few days, you have, and I'm not going to characterize this in any way, so ici, let me just say, at times, you've said that certain portions of your statements should not be relied upon, should not be used in evidence. And I believe you, you very clearly indicated that those portions related to places where you felt you had made assumptions. Is that correct? But yes, I repeatedly state that please review my interview with the OCIJ investigators as for the text where I made a presumption, mes auditions par les enquêteurs please don't use that portion et que les passages où je formule des présomptions ne soient as pas employés. true and reliable statement, please uh, disregard that portion. Comme déclaration Thank you, Mr. Witness, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that because the President of the Chamber explained to you what it meant to make assumptions, what it meant to use qualified language, like perhaps, like maybe? Is that why you made those, those, those later statements? Because the Chamber explained what it meant to make an assumption? Vous avez formulé cette demande parce que la Chambre même vous a expliqué ce que cela signifiait d'exprimer des présomptions ou de tirer des conclusions. Yes, the president reminded me. Oui. I think. Le président. From my recollection. Immediately after the morning session started, he reminded me to give my best effort in providing a truthful answer and without providing any answer based on my presumption. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And maybe this could be my last question for the day. When you gave those statements to the OCIJ, did anyone who was there taking the statement explain to you or tell you not to make assumptions? Lors de vos auditions, vous aurez expliqué que vous ne devez pas émettre des présomptions. There was no clear explanation as the president did. On ne me l'a pas expliqué clairement comme l'a fait le président. However, I was told to speak about the truth. Or what I knew clearly, or the experience that, that I went through. I was reminded of all these points before the interview started. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Your Honor, I don't mean to be presumptuous myself, but is this a good time to stop? I'm, I'm not finished. I would like to continue tomorrow. 
je vous demande si c'est un bon moment pour lever l'audience. Je n'ai pas terminé. Je peux poursuivre demain. President. Le président. Thank you, Council. Merci, Maître. We shall adjourn now. Nous and allons we lever l'audience qui reprendra demain. Through read and review Maître, internal rule 36 nous vous prions de bien relire la règle intérieure 76, numéro 76 alinéa 7 which clearly states according to the civil law system besides the subject of the appeal civil, the Amendment shall be made pursuant to the rule of questioning, and Les no such procedural defect can be raised before the trial chamber or during the court proceeding. Telles, uh, this is just a reminder for you. And we instance, may revisit the matter again tomorrow. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Witness. Nous allons poursuivre demain. Merci, Monsieur le Témoin. Today's hearing will be adjourned now, and it will Nous lever resume tomorrow. That is the first day, the 6th of September 2012, starting from 9 a.m. We will continue to hear the testimony of this same witness, who, be, who will be questioned by Nunchia's defense and then by Yingzari's defense. De la de this et ensuite, information is Yingzari. for the general public and for the parties. Que le public et les Mr. Witness, your, the hearing of your testimony Monsieur has not yet concluded, and you are invited to terminé. once again come to the courtroom to testify tomorrow morning. And it is likely matin. that your testimony will conclude Votre tomorrow. Court officer, in coordination demain. with uh, Visu Unit, Monsieur please assist the witness for his return to. His residence and have him return to the courtroom tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Security guards are instructed to take the three accused back to the ECCC detention facility and have them return to the courtroom tomorrow morning prior to 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.